Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty. So guys, I stressed shop today. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm watching videos that aren't on the news on a app called TikTok. I don't know if you guys know what that is. A lot of you do, a lot of you don't. I'm probably gonna sway back and forth in this video. It's what I do when I'm a little anxious. You might notice that in some of my videos. The difference at the store today compared to exactly one week ago, maybe even more, I don't know, whenever I was at the store last. Guys, it's a completely different place. There's arrows, you're only allowed to walk certain ways. There, there's big plastic, like thick plastic, like hard plastic between you and the cashiers. All of these things are good. I'm glad they're doing them. I'm just explaining the experience from a week ago. And now it has me, it's, I don't know guys. I'm a little off put, I'm gonna be honest. So, so they have the shields up for the, for the employees. That's awesome. You have arrows that you have to follow in the store. Not just six foot like reminders. Like there's arrows and they're all in the store where you have to go a certain way, you can't go like up and down aisles anymore. You can only follow the arrow. All good, keeping everybody safe. But I kind of live in a, an area that has a little bit of money. So everyone kind of has a mask and has with, has the money to go shopping. And I hate saying that out loud because I know there's a lot of people who don't. But the reason I'm telling you that is, um, is because these people had like army, like like gas masks, they're walking around the store with gas masks on, and and those the and guys, I don't know, I'm shook up, I'm shook up, I'm shook up. Like it's a whole different world. Like wait till you guys see. If you haven't been out of the house, wait till you see the difference now from a week ago. I don't know, guys. I'm worried. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm worried. I'm officially worried. And I'm not trying to worry you, but like, maybe you were like me and thought, well, it'll get better. And, you know, yes, we have to stay home. And yes, it sucks. And yes, I'm bored. But like, it's not getting better, guys. So please be as prepared as you possibly can. Here's the thing. I have spent more money on groceries in the last month than I think I have in the last three or four months combined. Everything's overpriced. You have to buy what's available. So you're buying things you, I would never buy almost $10 steaks, but I'm anemic. I need red meat. I, I like I, I don't need it every day, but I, I can tell when I need it. I can feel when I'm getting super tired. Like there's, I'm just gonna tell you what I bought. So I bought the ham for Easter. This was a really good deal. It was only $6.36. So that's good. The eggs, these were $3.79. And these were the last pack. And the reason I got them is because we have to color eggs for Easter, right? Um, look, my arm's even shaky. I can't help it, guys. Uh, I don't even know if I should put this video up. I don't know. But, like, this is real. I mean, I can't just pretend to be fine if I'm not fine. Nobody's fine all the time, right? So, anyway, these were expensive. They finally had tuna fish, and they had a lot of tuna fish. But these were $1.89 a can. And I usually only buy tuna when it's a dollar, like 10 for 10 or what have you. But I haven't been able to find any, so I grabbed it. Mayonnaise, this was the only one available. It was on sale two for six, so I grabbed two. I prefer Merrick Whip, but they didn't have it, and it is what it is. We're not huge milk drinkers, so I take the smaller one so that people that actually need milk for kids or themselves, whatever... I take a smaller one just to have for like mashed potatoes, um, the noodles in the box, stuff like that. But we don't go through a lot of milk, so I'm not trying to hoard milk from somebody else. Um, I did get a little special treat. This is so yummy, guys. If you ever want to try really, really good chocolate milk, this is the bomb. It's a little expensive. It's $3.99. Sometimes you can get it on sale. And then these were on sale, two for $6. So I grabbed a white cheddar and I grabbed the grooves. Um, pasta. They finally had pasta in stock. So I grabbed four boxes, and again, it's kind of like, this was cheaper, right? This was 88 cents, I don't even remember, but these were more than that, they were maybe $1.59, um, I don't even remember. 
I'm sorry guys. Um, but if you wanted a variety of pasta, because we got shells and rigatoni, we'll eat pasta all the time and it lasts a long time. You can have it for dinner and then you can have it for lunch the next day. I can stretch pasta so far. Um, there's that overpaying again. <laughs> this kind of is what it is. And there was quite a bit of pasta today. So I felt like four was sufficient. You know, leave it for someone else. Um, I only saw this at first, so I grabbed one. And then on the way out at the checkout, somebody put this um, on the end cap. Like a bunch of them were on the end cap. So I grabbed the regular peanut butter because you can eat peanut butter on everything, really. Um, so only meat that they had in the store. Not these two packages. But the only meat they had, like, other than ham. They had a ton of hams. A ton. Which is great because these are cheap. You could cook these up freeze them up and you'll have meat for a very long time um and this one was $8.90 again I left for other people I mean I really wanted to get like six to eight of them but like what if somebody else you know what I mean there's a huge guilt with grocery shopping now is anybody else feeling that like I just can't I can't be the one to take it all I just can't do it I, I just can't um natural so these are my favorite hot dogs ever I'm not a big hot dog person but um, they've been out of stock for these for over a month. So I grabbed two. Normally I don't grab two because they are expensive. They're like eight bucks. They're like $7.99. Um, but in that commotion of the stress of it all, I didn't forgot hot dog rolls. It, I'm, I'm telling you, stay home. If you, I would prefer to use Instacart or Peapod. But guys, they're not scheduling at all anymore in my area. They're done. They're not, they're not trying to hear you see you deliver to you I don't know it's not happening so you have to go to the store dinner yeast rolls uh, these are for Easter I got frozen because I hope I'm not going back to the store before Easter I did get four jars of sauce these were $1.89 uh, vegetables you're only allowed two so I grabbed two corn it had a limit on the vegetables I was shocked it didn't have a limit on the tuna maybe because they got it just got a ton um, Vegetables were very low, very, very low. Uh, string cheese, these were $4.19. They're never usually that expensive for the Stop and Shop brand. These were on sale $2.89, so that was good. Um, these were just $1.89. I don't even know how much these were. I just grabbed them because I wanted to go, and I've been craving chips. I'm not sure, guys. I don't think you really do. You, I don't know. Uh, these were... I think a dollar on sale. That's and I grabbed two. Good to have on hand if somebody gets sick. You need the Gatorade. I didn't hoard bread, but I did get two. One to put in the freezer and one that we can use now because we are out of bread. Um, and then soda was on sale for for eleven ninety nine. We dropped it and we we're bringing it in four for eleven and nine. The digital coupon on the app was an extra dollar. Uh, I didn't even mess. And then I got ginger ale. Yes, guys. So. I don't know. It's, it's like $139. Right? Like where? Where is that? Let me check my receipt and just let me maybe I'm let me check. So you guys just saw the receipt. I feel like that's happening to me each time I go to the grocery store. I am helping out a neighbor. Um, retired on fixed income served our country lives alone has no children so when I make a meal I leave a plate so if you guys are wondering why I buy so much food um, I also help a family member when they need it so it's just I do the best I can with what I have and I try and help as many people as I can within the constraints of what we have going on right now um, but yeah Sorry if I stressed you out, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about my channel. I'm nervous about real life. This is a lot. It's, it's really hitting me. This is a lot. Uh, talk to me down in the comments, guys. Let me know how you guys are feeling. I'm sorry this isn't a regular type of super upbeat, like, hey, everybody. I'm sorry. It's, I'm just not there right now. I'm just not there. I wish I was. So... If I forgot anything on the table, guys, I'm sorry. But I'll talk to you guys down in the comments. And, uh, yeah.
that that's it.